Hello. Okay, so I have our made choice board here. And if we look at our first, we're gonna look at ours. I'm gonna show you all of day one of what you should be working on today. And then we're gonna focus in on the science, social studies slash PE and what you are supposed to be doing. So for literacy today, you are to, how many sight words do you think? You can read, you're gonna do that. You're gonna practice your sight words using this Quizlet, and you can play as often as you like. Talk over with an adult which words are tricky for you. So the words that you're having trouble with, um, let them know which words you're having trouble with, and then list some of the ways you can continue to practice these words, and then quiz yourself, and then read with someone for 15 minutes. So let's look at the Quizlet. This is coming from the Fast Bridge site, and it gives you the direction here on how to use it. So use Quizlet to allow the students to practice their Fast Bridge site words independently. Read, find a screenshot below demonstrating on how to launch the flashcard deck and how to hear the words. And you can scroll down for cue cards. So. You're gonna click on flashcards. You're gonna listen, click here to listen. And then there, here's the QR code that you can use to open them up. But let's see how this actually works. So if I click on the first one, okay, I'm gonna click on the flashcards because that's what I want. And then where do I push to listen? And I've got a lot of things coming up here. And you can click to hear the definition. I'm looking for the speaker so that I could listen. Hmm. I'm seeing the flashcards, but I'm not where you can listen to the word. Oh, there it is. It wasn't on the first one. Let's go back to the first one and see. There it is. Not. So you can listen to words in Quizlet. Okay. That's literacy. And I just wanted to show you how to open that. And did I close the board? Yes, I did. All right. And now for math. Show what you know. How many more to five? And so here's a five frame that you can use for that. And it's loading. And I've already made a copy uh, how of many this squares are empty? and changed the how many squares are empty? And I've changed the shape. How many squares are empty? So this is that. How many circles are there? Okay, that's that. And then explore one plus what equals five? Five equals blank plus two. Five equals three plus a number. Five plus a number plus, I think that's supposed to be equals five. So that's a little typo right there. Let's see if I can fix that. Here we go. Equals five. Explain your learning. Draw a number to show how you solve this problem. Explain your answer to someone in your house. Take a picture of your work to share with your teacher. So you're going to choose a problem and then tell how you solved it. And then Bonus bump, begin at zero and count to 50. Draw a picture of 13 objects and read for 15 minutes. Now our science for today, this is a review. We have already talked about plants. Okay, we've already talked about plants. I'm going to be uploading your, oh, your science lesson. If you have your science book, 
Go ahead and take your science test today. It is on page 23 in your book. Remember, parents, you're not giving them the answers and then upload it to, upload it to Dojo. Um, I'm still working to see how to get Mastery Connect to work. So you might get a, you might get a test today to see if you can log into that. And then what we will do is for our next couple of signs, because we've already done chapter one, chapter two, we'll go ahead and we will go through chapter three. And I think we've already, we've already done most of chapter three. So it will just be a review of the, of the chapter, a review of the chapter, and then we'll go on to chapter four, which would also be a review as well. Okay. And then that way we will be done with our, our book and then they can just go back and read. But what are plants? What do you know about plants? Read here to find out about flowering plants. And this is on Mayon. And you have access to Mayon through Clever. So that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to click on Clever. And I'm going to go to Mayon because I'm already in Clever. And then that way I do not have to go through that. I'm trying to see, because you shouldn't have to log in. It should automatically take you there if you sign into Clever. So let me try it again. I'm gonna refresh this page. I just wanna make sure that you could open these things up. Because I know they said if you do it this way, then it'll work, but as you can see, we've been sometimes having trouble getting these things to, to open. Okay, there we go, all about flowers. Let me check the other one that I made a copy to. Okay, there you go. I had to refresh. I had to refresh Clever. Okay, so all about flowers. Let's listen. All about flowers by Claire Brown. You can control the volume on the side. Um. What are plants? Plants are living things. Plants have many parts. Flower, stem, leaf, root, seed. What do plants need to grow? Plants need water to grow. Plants need sunlight and air to grow. What are flowers? Many plants grow flowers. Some plants have one flower. Some plants have lots of flowers. Flowers make seeds. What kind of seeds are those? They look like sunflower seeds. New plants grow from seeds. Petals. A petal is one part of a flower. Petal. Some flowers have purple petals. Some flowers have red petals. Some flowers have patterns on their petals. Shapes. Flowers can be different shapes. Some flowers look like a ball. Some flowers look like a heart. Some flowers look like a star. Some flowers look like a bell. 
flowers as food. Hummingbirds and butterflies get food from flowers. Bees get food from flowers. Plants need flowers. Seed. Flowers make seeds. Seeds grow and become new plants. Okay, so that's that story in my on. And if we go back to our choice board, it says, watch what are plants. And this is from Scholastic. And I've shown them this a couple times. It's like a three minute video about what a plant is. So they have already seen this. Like I said, it's a review. <laughs> What are plants? This is a plant. It is a tiny duckweed plant. This is a plant too. It is a giant sequoia tree that reaches high into the sky. There are hundreds of thousands of kinds of plants. From spiky cactuses to colorful tulips. Big or small, prickly or pretty, all plants are living things. And like all living things, plants grow. Watch this plant seed grow into a plant. The roots grow down. The stem grows up. Then the leaves unfurl. Most plants have these parts. Roots, stem, and leaves. Many plants grow flowers. Some even grow fruits. We eat fruits and other plant parts too. Do you like bananas? A banana is a fruit from the banana tree. Have you ever eaten a carrot? A carrot is the root of a carrot plant. This bunny likes to eat plants too. People and animals need plants to live. But what do plants need to live? Plants need enough space to grow. The giant sequoia tree needs a lot of space. Plants need sunlight. Would a dark closet be a good place to grow a plant? No. But this sunny window is just right. Plants need water too. Sometimes they get water from rain. Sometimes people water them. Without water, a plant will dry up, turn brown, and die. Plants also need nutrients, which are like plant vitamins. Most plants suck up water and nutrients from the soil. Now that you know about plants, do you think you could take care of one? When you grow a plant, you make the world a greener place. Okay. So that's what, a, what is a plant. What did you learn about plants and plant parts? Draw and label a picture to show what you know about plants and read for 15 minutes. And don't forget to take your science test in your book. I'm gonna practice uploading it and seeing if I can assign it. And then you're gonna have to go, you will go in through Clever to open it up and I will show you a video on how to do that um, later on today. I will share that video with you. I hope you all have a super day. As soon as math is done, I will upload that as well.